1985 came the discovery of the superstrings theory, which stated that an elementary particle that is 10 to the negative 35 meters in diameter was the basic element of all matter. This prompted the idea that an infinite number of worlds exist parallel to our own, all separated by extra dimensions at the subatomic scale. Einstein will be a year long remembered in the scientific world as Professor William Kaufman's published work on ubiquitous strings is released. Simply put, Kaufman predicts that travel to a parallel world may be possible using a method he's called string tunneling. Many in the scientific field, while agreeing with his findings, say that the power output that is needed is far beyond the capabilities of science. Trial ended today with a narrow, not guilty verdict. The families of the 11 MIT lab workers who were killed in the July 1999 explosion contend that Zhu was at fault and that his attempt to create the first matter-antimatter reaction was the cause. Commander Slade? Not bad. I guess my weight, too. I'm Major Vernon, sir. We've got a diamond priority situation at one of our outposts, and I'm to bring you to the site. I got time to finish my drink? Guess not. Almost to the site, and I'm supposed to debrief you before we land. Get on with it, then. In your mission briefing, you'll see that yesterday at 1630 GST, a top secret military experiment was launched. You got any coffee? No, sir. Now, if you'll just follow along. Damn. Okay, I'm all ears, Major. Go on. Well, as you may know, scientists have talked about traveling to parallel worlds for the last couple of years, and yesterday, we did it. Did what? We sent a probe through the boundary separating us from the other dimensions. Really? Where'd you wind up, Belgium? For 71 minutes, we were receiving data back from the probe before an entity from that world damaged it, sending an energy backlash through to our world that's caused an atomic chain reaction we were unable to contain. Looks like your precious lab blew up. Not exactly. Pilot, uh, give me a 30-degree roll to port. It caved in. Let me get this straight. The probe you shot in the Twilight Zone screwed up and is sucking us in? Yes. And the vortex is growing exponentially, Commander. We estimate 25 days before the Earth is no more than a cosmic memory. So why am I here? You're here to escort a group of three scientists into the same parallel world, to repair and retrieve that probe. I'm trained in combat and survival. I don't run an escort service. Urgent. Soft gear maintenance off needed at Hall G13. Red sector phone briefing is a go at 1300 hours. Look, all I'm saying, Anthony, is we weren't ready. I was as eager as you to test our theories, but that didn't give us license to... Us? I'm not taking the fall for your flawed theories, Kaufman. My energy source didn't lose that probe, and when we find it, I'll... Attention. Report all Gentlemen, this is Commander Cutter Slade. He's here to make sure you have no problems on your little trip. No more than you've got, anyway. This is Professor William Kaufman, head of the Cristobal Project. Lab techs, uh, it's a pleasure, Commander. I'm sorry you You and asked. me both, Professor. Uh, and Professor Anthony Xu, Professor Kaufman's... Guiding light. 
Without me, he'd still be at the Blueprint stage. Where I fear we should have stayed. We can't save the speculation until after we've plugged that hole, gentlemen. Professor Kaufman, you're due at the pad first. Oh, I'll be along momentarily, Major. Urgent. Task five commanders. P1 So, what's the plan, Professor? Quite simple, really. When we get to the other world, we locate the damaged probe and repair the systems using these backup cards. Of course, the damage could be anything from the power output to the... It's not the power output. It's the string tunneling device. We'll find that out soon enough, Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the pad. Why did they choose you, Commander? Guess I drew the short straw. Nice to know we have something in common. See you on the other side, gentlemen. One step away from proving my energy source can work, and now this. I can't believe my luck. Don't worry, Professor. Stick close to me, we'll get through this. Listen, G.I. Joe. I'm only gonna tell you this once. I don't take orders from anyone. Is that so? I have a strong feeling you're going to be trouble. Mm-hmm. The feeling's mutual, Professor. Suits a bit on the tight side. Sorry. We've already sent a shipment of new technology weaponry to the other world. The instructions were in your brief. Thanks. By the way, you said three scientists. So far, I've only seen double. Wolf? Oh, God. What's she doing here? Uh, you two know each other? Not really. I know her lawyers pretty well, though. Look, about that, I'm... Is there a problem? I don't really know. Is there a wolf? I wouldn't want the Senator upset again. My mother has nothing to do with this. I'm here on my own credentials. Ms. Wolf is our exobiologist, Commander. If your mission runs longer than expected, she'll be helping you figure out which bugs to eat and what plants to Commander avoid. Slade, T -minus 10 minutes to launch. She'll also be attempting Please communication with the sentient beings we saw in the probe. Communication? Feed. Her? How ironic. You don't understand, Commander. What happened wasn't... Uh, this uh, happy reunion will have to wait, you two. Commander, we need you on the pad, now. Ms. Wolf? What was all that about? Guess you guys didn't have time for background checks. Level with me, Vernon. Is this thing really gonna get us there alive? Would you rather stay here? You've got a point there. Just try not to break anything else before I get back, will you? We'll try, Commander. Good luck. My hearing's a bit out of whack. I do not understand, Ulukai. Ulukai? What's that? Some egghead word for... Holy shit! What is egghead? Who are you? Where are the others? I am Sakrim, leader of the Dolotai Guardians. What others do you talk of? Others... Um, like me. We found you alone, Ulukai. No others were there. Brilliant. Now what? Now? Now we will help you retrieve your five moms 
and defeat Feyran and his soldier leader, Croax. Then all of Adelpha will be free. Whoa, 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 slow down there, Chief. I hate to burst your bubble, but I've already got a world to save. <laughs> yes, Ulukai, and that is Adelpha. Why do you keep calling me Ulukai? The name is Cutter Slade. Hundreds of moons ago, the Prophet Kazar spoke of a higher being, the Ulukai who would arrive at this time to save Adelpha from destruction at the hands of Feyran. To do this, you will need the five Mons, sacred objects that have been hidden around the regions of Adelpha, awaiting your arrival. Sounds like you have some real problems. Zokrim, was it? But right now, I gotta find the three other people on my team and a busted probe. That's my first priority. If I have time afterwards, I'll see what I can do about helping you, okay? If you search for friends and busted probe, have you a way of finding them? Now that you mention it, no, I don't. Then I propose a deal with you, Ulokai. I will tell the other Dolotai Guardians to go out into their regions and search for what you seek. When they discover anything, they will get word to me, then I to you. How many men do you have? Once, we numbered in the thousands. Now we are but a hundred, and getting smaller with each moon. So if I help you get these Mons, you'll use your hundred eyes and ears to look around this world for me? Yes. Doesn't sound like I have much of a choice here. How will you know where I am? We will know, Ulukai. Many Talon will not believe in you until they hear stories of your good deeds. All will watch your every move. Fair enough. Now the probe is a big shiny metal object, and I need to find it first. Is this what you seek? A backpack? Where'd you get that? It was found where you arrived, Ulukai, as were many sacred objects of the Yods. No, the probe is much bigger than that. You said the rest of the equipment is there? No, Ulukai. When sacred objects were discovered, many Talon take them for themselves, to have a little part of the Yods, and to feel hope that some moon they would help. Most Talon will not want to give up their sacred objects. This mission will be a snap, Commander. It's just a simple repair operation. What could go wrong? Well, let's count. I lost my crew, can't find the probe, my equipment is being used by the natives as rosary beads, and I have one backpack with my HKP-12 and 30 rounds of ammo. I believe that places this mission somewhere just south of Fubar. I did not understand all what you said, Ulokai, but if you are looking for more items, I would like to give you this. What is it? This Gamsav is believed to save at Helen's essence when it is held and squeezed in one's hand. When you do this, a strange glow builds inside the Gamsav, and after a few moments, it lets out a bright light. This is believed to imprint your essence on the Gamsav, but you cannot move while the light is growing. Ah, skip it, Chief. This is too much. Look, I think I need to clear my head. Got a place I can stretch my legs a bit? Of course, Ulukai. Our camp is open to you. You should find my son, Lan. He can help you. Once he has done so, return to me, and I will open the Daoka, so you may leave.
Unstable organic energy detected. Pardon me, buddy. Hello. You have my greetings, Ulukai. I have just returned from Okasankar, and I am glad to see you are well. Where? The region of Okasankar. I was there because I was the last guardian to leave Okar, the region where we found you. It was my duty to make sure no trail was left by us that would lead the soldiers to us. What can you tell me about this Okar place? That region is where we found you, Ulukai. Kazar spoke of your arriving in that region, and for many moons we hid among the trees, avoiding the soldiers of Croax. We had all but given up hope that you would arrive when we saw the bright light of your arrival. Then what happened? You arrived near a group of soldiers. They were about to discover you when we attacked them and drove them away. You attacked? Only with sleep darts and other not violent means. We never revert other Talan. After this, you were brought here to safety. Only I remained behind to hide our tracks. That region is a very dangerous one. Full of mystery it is. What kind of mystery? There are stories that the ruins of the region are the remainders of the ancients. I doubted this until I visited the region on the quest of recovering you. During the moons we hid out in the region, I saw what I think was a Daoka, except this one was very large. It had symbols at the top of it to a place I have never seen on symbols of other Daoka. But I will never know the answer to its secret. Why is that? That Daoka was broken, if it even was a Daoka. Others with me thought it to be a monument of some kind. Most Talan do not believe in the story of the ancients. But I like to think they could have been. Lexicon. Come here a second, would you? Tell me about this Oka Sankar. It is a region full of water. The city of Sayana lies around a mountain that rises high above the water there. Many say the region used to be mostly mountains countless moons ago, and that the Yods became angry and filled it with water to drive away the Ancient Ones there. The Ancient Ones? The stories about them are many, and each is different. So many moons have passed since they were supposed to have been here that I fear no one Talan knows if they existed. What can you tell me about them? The most popular story is that there were two races in the beginning, Talan and the Ancients. The Yobs watched as both races began to live on Adelpha. When the Yobs saw the Ancients hurting Adelpha, they reacted quickly to rid Adelpha of them. Many Talan were lost in their anger, but the few that survived spoke with the Yods 
and promise to never harm Adelpha again. You don't believe this story? I do not know, Ulukai. Some moons, I do not. But then, I think about the Daoka and other objects that no Talan knows how they arrived on Adelpha, and I wonder. Mexican accessed. Pardon me, buddy. Hey there, how's it going? Great, Urukai. You are better, I see. I could be worse, although I don't really see how. I can try and give you some info about the Shamas or the region of Shamazar if you would like. Can I see you for a second? Are you Jan? Yes, Ulukai. I'm glad that you are feeling better. Thanks. Your father said you could help me get the kinks out. The what? Uh, forget it. I need to get some exercise. Can you help me out? I can do that, Ulukai. There are four tests we do here to train other guardians. I can guide you through them if you would like. I would. Then you can choose from our tests of jumping, swimming, targeting, or sneaking. Notepad accessed. What about this targeting test? We have some pots set up to test the shooting skills of the new guardians. Even though my father unwisely follows the no-violence teachings of Kazar, we still need to learn how to aim our defensive weapons. I shall show this to you. Excuse me, pal. What's the deal here? Here you must break these pots. You may find items inside. Try and break them all. Notepad accessed. Say, can you tell me a bit more about your father? He is a great leader, and if things were different in Adelpha, he would be the leader of all the Dolatai Guardians. As it is this moon, we must hide or face the reverting flames of Feyron. He gets people to join him by burning them? Yes, Ulukai. Strange recruitment plan. How's your father fighting back? We never fight, although most of us would like to. I am beginning to think that my father's essence is going weak. I want to no longer listen to his teachings of Kazar and of peace. I want more than anything to revert Feyron myself for what he has done. Whoa, simmer down there, Jan. I'm sure your father knows what he's doing. We shall see soon enough. Tell me about your test of swimming. We test the ability of all guardians to swim down into the waters around Adelpha. This is useful for us when we hide our items or want to avoid the soldiers of Croax. Follow me, and I will explain our test. Mm-hmm. 
cold. Tell me about your test of swimming. Let's try this jumping test. Follow me, Ulukai. I will take you to the place where we test the skills of jumping. What now? Across the water, you can see the steps that lead to the top of the rocks. Jump across there and claim your reward. Only those of strong essence can make this jump. Notepad accessed. See if this headset transmitter works. Slade to group. Slade to group. Is anyone reading me? Damn it, people! Turn on your receivers! Be careful coming down, Urukai! What is this sneaking test? This is our most difficult test. Since my father orders that we follow the no-violence teachings of Khazar, we find that we are forced to try and sneak into places without the soldiers seeing us. Nothing wrong with a little sneak and peek. Saves on ammo. If you say, Ulukai, me, I want to fight. But my father forbids it. And so now we train how to retrieve objects without being spotted. Follow me and I will tell you the rules. Come here a second, would you? How does this work? 
Ulukai, you will now begin the most difficult of our tests. What we will do is have you stand in the area of the square. Once I say one, two, three, you must begin to try and get the fruit I lay on the ground. Sounds easy enough. It will not be, Urukai. If you leave the square before I count three, I will start over. If I see you, I will tell you, and you will have to come to me to restart the test. Let's go, then. Enter your square, and we will begin. Wait for my count, please. Notepad. Access. I could not see you! So, did I pass? Yes, Sulukai. I have no doubts that you could pass our tests. It was my honor to help you get out of your kink. I hope now that we will be able to learn more useful battle strategies from you. Your father wouldn't be too happy about that. My father does not want to see what is happening around him. He talks of the old moons of the Guardians and the honor their name once held. Never does he see that few are being left alive which believe the way he does. Don't worry, Jan. I've never failed in a mission yet. May the odds be silent during your travels, Urukai. My father will be glad to hear that you are ready to begin. Thanks. Oh yes, I almost forgot. You will need this. Hey, that's an EVD. Where did you find this? This and many sacred objects are all around Adelphi now, Urukai. When they were found, many believe them objects of the odds. Say, can you tell me a bit more about your father? He is a great leader, and if things were different... Come here a second, would you? So how can I get out of this joint? Have you finished Yang's tests, Urukai? Sure did. He says I passed with flying colors. Now I should get going. As you wish, Urukai. But before you leave, I will remind you of our deal. You find the five mons, and we will attempt to find that what you seek. That'll have to do for now. But just know, the second I find that probe, I'm completing the mission first. Understood? It shall be as you say, Ulokai. Now the path to your first mon lies in Shamazar, the region beyond the Daokai in our camp. Once you arrive there, you will need to find Shamaz Zeb. He may be in the village to the far west of the Daokai where you appear. Sounds like a plan. In other regions as well, you will need to find the Shamaz. They are the only ones who can help you find the Mons. So the only people I should find are them? Others will try to help, Ulukai. 
A good talent to find is also a recreator. I think they have discovered secrets about your sacred objects. The recreators? Yes. They and all others will help you. I only hope you will find the help of the leaders as well. The leaders of what? Many of the regions produce resources for the soldiers of Feyran and Croax. I have been in contact with many of them, but all are unwilling to stop their work for Feyran. They like working for him? No, Ulakai. They simply fear his anger, or they are too dumb to understand why we want to do this. Well, I'll see what I can do about that if I have the time. I know you can win them over. You have the mark of the Ulakai on you, and all will know your words carry great weight. So that's what it is. I thought maybe one of your guys mistook me for a New York subway car. Be warned, Ulakai. Many soldiers have been seen now that you are known to be alive. You will want to stay away from the Temple Fey in the center of Shamazar. There are many soldiers there. Stay to the south end of Shamazar. Thanks for the advice. Know this. All Guardians will be watching you. You will find our help when you are fulfilling the prophecy of the Urukai, and you will know our anger if you do not. All Talon will know your actions and treat you in the manner you treat them. You just remember that I need to find the others and that probe, and we'll get along famously. Then I will activate the Daoka for you. May the Yods be silent, Ulokai. Notepad.